Oh yeah, footy's back. G'day, I'm Richmond and calling with legend David Cloak. Wait, no, I'm not. David Cloak was on the, uh, I saw a tweet and had the picture of him on the uh, pies in like 1988. Big belly, just bustling. You love to see it. Anyway, I am actually James Clemens. Put me in a Collingwood top and I look exactly like David Clark, <laughs> I reckon, from then. This is the AFL Today Show, your new favourite one-stop shop for all things AFL footy. I'm joined for the Midweek Madness Show, as per usual, by a couple of local dinguses slash AFL experts. Over there is the Heen Man's biggest fan. <laughs> He's a Swans fan. You might know him as Alex Donnelly. Thought about wearing the uh, black suit because I'm very sad today, Jim. It is a sad time in the AFL. We have one more game of Thursday night footy. Oh, I forgot about that. I should have been wearing the black yeah. armband because Carlton didn't get Will Haywood. So anyway, <laughs> yeah. what are we doing? Yeah, so you, you should be celebrating. Yeah, but over yeah. here in between us is the stats boy as well, Liam McKellen. Absolutely. Uh, well, yeah, I'm I'm really, really disappointed there's no Thursday night footy. What is going on? Alex just reminded me that it's over this week, so that, that's, that's horrible. You're also just naturally oh. sad. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I think that... No, I'm, I'm it's fine. okay. The I'm AFL fine. knows best. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, of course. Follow AFL Today across all the socials. It is Sports Today on Hell Facey as well. Yeah. And smash the subscribe wherever you get your podcast. Cause footy is back. Midweek news ticker. Welcome to the re-sign evolution. I don't know. <laughs> We're all going to re-sign apparently. Hugh McCluggage, Will Hayward, Sam Taylor, all signed massive extensions, yep. gentlemen. Were these all worth it? Let's go, Alex. Go. Uh, yes, they were. Hugh McCluggage, big money at Brisbane. If he thinks they're about to fall off, he probably would have looked to have looked to leave. Yep. Sam Taylor, GWS is one of their most important players. So, yes, big signing for seven years. Will Haywood has turned back massive money to stay at the Swans for five years. I think originally it was a three-year deal. The Swans are like, uh, five. Okay. If the Swans weren't first, would he have still stayed, you I reckon? think so because you look – It would have sw- been a bit more on the there fence, was a though, group of There was a group of dudes this year that all had to sign contract extensions. Four or five have signed extensions the, at the who's moment. The last one? Logan McDonald's left to tick Ooh, off, and okay. Freeman are like, yeah, he's going to stay at Sydney. So Ooh. Tassie's also like, we'll take him. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Nathan Buckley's like, damn it, damn it, <laughs> damn it, the entire time. It's, it's all right, he's got McKercher, Sanders. He's but obviously, this is, a, McKercher. this is a massive win for all the incumbents, I think. At Brisbane, yeah. they love having McCluggage. He's a mm-hmm. leader. He's that sort of next generation yep. sort of uh, midfielder for them. Obviously, Hayward, that's huge because. Carlton, we're going to take him, <laughs> and he's the exact thing that Carlton need. Oh. You're breaking my heart, Will Haywood. The other one, Sam Taylor. He's probably yeah. the best fullback in the comp, so yeah. yes. sign him up. Lock that's him great. down. That GW, the entire GWS like defense is sort of built around what he does, and uh, if there are any chance of turning around this season, it revolves around him. Yep. yep. And you're like, okay, then turn on the Jets. What are we doing here, GWS? So it's a tough one for St Kilda. They miss out on McCluggage, Port, the Crows, and the Blues all miss out on Hayward. Yeah. Oh, he's a South Australian product. I don't know. How many times did that get said in the entire world? <laughs> and then, nothing, and then nothing happened. But yeah. How well has Will Hayward's manager run this? He's like, ah, oh, Carlton are offering me money, and Adelaide's offered massive, and oh, yeah, Port too there in Adelaide, yeah. I guess. You could just you could just put names out there and <laughs> yeah. just go, it's like the money stats up, guy. Up he's like, BWS have, oh, BWS have offered me. 20 bucks an hour, Jim. And I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> you better take it. <laughs> oh, I want to work in a bottle O. Need, need to get my RSA. Yeah. It adds to the list of people that St Kilda have missed with McCluggage. It's just like, here's money. No. Yeah. We'll talk about some more misses in a second. Hey. Whoa. Early Reed, Bama Lamb. That's his appeal, Bama Lamb. That's right. He missed oh. his appeal. Two weeks out for Harley Reed. The amazing thing is this means it'll be 29 days without Harley Reed playing football. How will the West cope? How will we cope? They're going to secede. <laughs> it's all over. They're like, nah, we're, we're all just our own nation now until you <laughs> let us have Harley Reid play just footy again. Um, how's that? Just how's protesting that? Protests in the streets, protests. dogs and cats everywhere. It's going to be chaos out there in WA. <laughs> how's the dude who runs the West going to go? He's going to have to come up with a new uh, back page for the next oh, 29 our days. Our TikTok is Literally, well, I mean, <laughs> just turn him into Chef Truck. Just like, what are you eating today, Harley? He's all, I'm having a sandwich. <laughs> so, here's Harley Reid's recipe for a sandwich. You're like, all right, off we go. That's Bread. The, it's the entire paper. Bread, yeah. It's like, like, too many carbs. <laughs> The entire media, yeah, yeah, the steak sandwich, I think you know. The entire yeah, sports nice. media ecosystem over in WA revolves around that. <laughs> uh, Riley West won his appeal, though, which is kind of neat. I think that was fair. Yeah. And I don't know. I just like Riley West. I just think he's neat. I don't. I got a bit of time. <laughs> yeah, Scott West's right. son like, looks yeah. exactly like him. It's yeah. weird. Plays like him. It's like nothing has ever changed. No, he doesn't. No, no, no anywhere is good. Inside no, midfielder. I know, but he, no, he's, he's good. Yeah. Speaking of inside midfielders, who was kind of defender, Ed Richards yep. and his giant bonce misses another week yeah, due to his no concussion. Good. That sucks. Yeah. Mm. They uh, need him. Poor one out for the dogs. They definitely need him. But anyway, other injury news. Jamie Elliott. 
Question marks around his playing future stats, boy. Yeah, this guy's gone full Tom Morris here. No, I, I, I'm not going to go deep into it, but I just saw He's that digging he... through his rubbish. All right? <laughs> <laughs> that's I just how saw this thing, digging. this article that said he had a black foot. Like it, that's how there's no vascular, uh, yeah, blood thrown through. What's through your vascular foot. stats? Yeah, guy? I'm, not, I'm not going through that. I know what that means. I'm not. I don't need to talk about that. But it was just interesting that people are saying Jamie Elliott, yeah, might have ever play again if that's this uh, was the case. News it's all like, about dancing. Yeah, this was news <laughs> three weeks ago though that he, I, had, a, he had a vascular injury. No, they said he was going to come back soon, and then they were like, oh. He's, he yeah, and then Tom Morris again. is like, he's never going to play again. And Collingwood like, yeah, six to eight weeks, guys. Yeah. Ooh, well, that just sounds like a massive tough. bite. You don't want a black foot. That doesn't sound good. I'm all not right. a doctor. It, it, just is, it is all the ballet, though. That's yeah. All, yeah. Honest. all right, let's do some midweek. Losers, winners of the week. I think we'll just go with losers today. Yeah. Why not? Adelaide. The Crows specifically. No, we'll just leave it at Adelaide. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. No. <laughs> the simple point. Of, oh, I love Adelaide. It was great. It was fun. Uh, yeah. Does anybody want to go to Adelaide? Like we saw Rankin come home. Yeah. Happy days there. Outside of that. Jordan Dawson. Jordan and Dawson. Dawson yeah. He's like, hey, cool. The Swans don't really want me. No, <laughs> no they really wanted him. Did they? Did they? <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, I get to be captain now. This is great. He walks in as captain. Also gets to move back home with his. Now, Jordan uh, Dawson literally walked in Adelaide. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> yeah, I'm, the, I'm the captain. <laughs> yeah. He's also from there. He's like, I'm home. Give me the captaincy. <laughs> yeah. I love that. But any other ones that they've missed out on here, Alex? Oh, there's a litany of players. So in the last 12 months, uh, Mason Redwin, they offered big money to. Will Day, Harrison Petty, which we can talk about in the year, Nas. Clayton Oliver, who they kind of had an attempt at. That was weird. Kick the tires. That, that was right? weird. Yeah. Clary didn't know where he was for a couple of uh, months. Yeah. The early one this year was they offered Errol Goulden 10 years. He's like, no. They've offered Will Haywood eight. He said no. And also Hugh McCluggage was also thrown about as well. All had massive amounts of cash thrown at them or, you know, have them come home. Adelaide were also like, we're going to trade two first round picks for someone. And everyone's like, no, we're good. Don't want to come I home. Th- I think it's to do with their promising, like all these people coming to their club, like, yeah, we're going to be a finals team. You're going to come with us. And now they're still, what are they, 14th or something? Or Says 17th? Yeah. you who had them as top four. Oh, okay, yeah, but that's my point. There's people, no one's going to go to a club where they just keep There's going backwards. There's idiots out there, yeah. Yeah. like me, <laughs> saying that they should have been top but four. No, I'm saying that you don't want to go to a club that's going backwards, obviously. Well, it's like Jared Pollock took the money from North oh. Melbourne all those years ago. And what's what's been the big signing that St Kilda have made in the last five years? Uh, Brad Hill. Jack Higgins. Well, it's Brad Hill. He won his flags. Oh, I'm just going to chase yeah. money. Yeah, like, I like smart. that. It's like, so Carlton went about this in an interesting way as well, like going to poach Chera mm-hmm. and what, also Blakers, stuff yep. like that. A and bunch of dudes from GWS and Fremantle. Exactly. But that was <laughs> that was the uh, Silvani sort of approach, right? Yeah. He's like, hey, you remember all those guys that I liked? <laughs> like, oh, I'm going to go get them. <laughs> and off he went. And that's what happened. But I think Adelaide sitting there going, oh, geez, the ramifications of the, uh, of the notorious camp like it still probably oh, it probably true. doesn't have much to do with it, but there's probably still question marks around Adelaide's culture and stuff like that. The power stance. And some other teams well. that just might be looking at that going, I'm not good mates with Tex Walker, so I don't want to go there. <laughs> right? Yeah. It yeah. feels a bit and then like it's that. like Jordan Dawson and Rankin wanted to go back to Adelaide and be Fair home. Enough, yeah. Fair enough. Sure. But there's not yeah, that much draw other than Yeah. Well, hey, it's like, dude, Bondi's awesome. <laughs> I just think it's like it's a lot of swings and misses and you're like, oh, this isn't great. Yeah. Mm. Well yeah, and you have a look through their recruiting through like their draft picks in the what the last five years. Yeah. <laughs> just just yeah. nothing. Yeah. Yeah, literally. Just nothing. Like <laughs> Josh Rochelle played a couple of good games and now he's just kind of okay. And it's just like Oh, yeah. There was some great news about, like, you know, I love good Twitter rumors. Yeah. It's like, Rochelle oh. wants to come home and play for the Blues. <laughs> I'm like, let's go. Everyone wants to play for the Blues. He's like, apparently. signed up for five years. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, whatever. Twitter's awesome. Like, that's yeah. great. No, who was it? Uh, Daniel Curtin wants to leave uh, the Crows already yeah. and go He's to Freo. He's two games. I love yeah. how Jim says Twitter rumors as well. It's just him. It's just, it's just him. It's like, this guy on Twitter said it. It was just Jim's just person. This weird ginger on Twitter <laughs> said all these random things about how much all these players want to come for the Blues. It was mostly, I heard that Carly Harley Reed wants to play for Carlton. <laughs> There's one guy that you know, Jim <laughs> actually just saw him at the airport. He was wearing a navy jumper. He's like, yeah. oh, to play Carlton. West Blues. Coast have the Royal Blue, not Navy. <laughs> yeah. no, he just heard all my songs and he's like, I've got to go play for that guy's team. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do some Yeah Nas midweek. Yeah Nas. One of the great, great, greats of our game. Dustin Martin is going to play his 300th game. At some point. <laughs> it's not going to be this week. Definitely he's next sitting, week. Oh, yeah. managed. Oh, my hammy. Oh, it's a bit tight. Ill. He was homesick, apparently. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's all right. I'm, I'm always homesick, too. Yeah. The, the approach of Dustin Martin to go, I don't really want to play my 300th game on the Adelaide Oval. Honestly, fair. I completely, completely agree. Yeah. That's yeah. fine. You've played I've, 300 games of footy. I think you get to choose where you actually get to play your 300. I think it's also a little bit different. If Richmond weren't going terribly 
and they were sort of in the mix of if the they hunt. Need him if they were in yeah. the hunt to be like, don't care, you're playing at Adelaide exactly. Oval. But the fact that they're what one and eleven, it's like, yeah, cool. No, if they were also yeah. if they were also in the hunt, you'd still have a massive contingent of Richmond fans going there yeah. for the game specifically, and it'd still be a massive event. But because they stink. And they stink really, really, really bad. It doesn't matter. A yeah. three-time Norm Smith medalist, yeah. a Brownlow medal winner, championship hero. Like, here we are. You let him choose. Yeah, yeah I want to play the G in front of the Tigers faithful. And you're like, that's Three, great. 300. They do it yeah. in every every sport, does it? you got NBA players that always do that. They take off a well, couple Hawkins of games. Hawkins was managed yeah. to miss Hawkins. the trip to Darwin. But in fairness, he'd had about four celebrations before he yeah. broke the records. It's like... Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Sure. Uh, Dusty can do what he wants. He's a legend. I do like the Adelaide Oval Dusty Martin thing. It's like when LeBron James breaks like the scoring record and there's like eight people going, yeah. great job. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So who do you play for now? He's yeah. like, I play for the Lakers. And they're like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that sure. was apparently Sam Mitchell wasn't happy playing his, I think it was 250th in Tassie. Oh, when against, did Sam Mitchell play against, against North, LeBron? Against <laughs> North. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's, a ja- that's the, the James Sister thing. But I think Scott Pendlebury played like his 350th at the Adelaide Oval. So. Oh. If it's good enough for Pendles, you know. <laughs> Did you know he used to play basketball? <laughs> really? <laughs> Next one. <laughs> Next. Yeah, nah. Were Melbourne stupid in not accepting the trade offer from Adelaide for Harrison Petty? Yeah. What was that? Uh, Two first it? round draft picks. Oh, why did they not do that? Because he did turn into like the second coming of Billy Brown this there. For, for one a game. <laughs> for one game. Or two games, maybe. Here is a list of players who have kicked more goals than Harrison Petty this year McKercher. Me. There's literally yeah. like I heard someone read out a list. Yeah. It's like really bad. Harry Cunningham. Oh, so like not Cham- great. Champion Data have the hundred X right, which is their yeah. rating system. Yeah, and Harrison Petty <clears throat> is literally the second worst AFL player this season. Wow. So really, not great. Is Ben Brown the worst? This nah, season? See, those two have not been working hard again. Nah, that's pretty. pretty that's, that's pretty harsh. I love. But that. I think that leads into the very, very big question: like Melbourne after the absolute belting they copped at the hands of Frio. Yep. Should they be looking at sort of like a half rebuild? Full clean out. Mm, clean yeah, out. Nah. Clean out. Max Gorn nah, is 33 nah. years old. Or. Yeah, but he could or still play for a while. Can you just go, well, we quite literally just need one forward. Yeah, no. that, might, I, that might fix most of our problems. I think Clayton so. Oliver's not fit. A lot of their young guys are really good. You've got Rivers coming through. You've got uh, well, Roden's like, all right. Well, like oh, who was the other guy? B's and C's. They're not a grade. I know they're not a grades, but I feel like there's a, a few guys in there, they're not too bad. No. I think they're starting to rebuild no, already. They are. That, yeah. What's happening to Richmond now and is what has happened to West Coast? Yeah. Melbourne are next. And imagine saying that to Gorn and Petrarca and Oliver. Oh, yeah, we're going to rebuild. Max Gorn's 33. They'll, they'll leave. I'll, like if I was them, well, I would, I would Gorn leave. will retire at the end of next year probably. No, He's, no. He's 33. He's, he's got all that knees. manscape money. He's yeah. fine. <laughs> and his knees are probably cooked. Clary will probably end up leaving at some point. And Petrarca's just like, I want to be a chef uh, somewhere. Yeah, Let's it's go. Like it's just him and, him and Jack Viney just going, I could open my restaurant. This he sucks. will probably. Yeah. And how, how old <laughs> Stephen May and Jake Lever? Like they're, Stephen May looked so old I th- on I the think, weekend. I think until those guys retire, especially May, Lever, Gordon. This is the same on. as the West Coast problem. You're yeah. like, oh, there's these four dudes. <laughs> I think, that's, but, yeah. they're, but they've got the creamy middle though, Melbourne, right? They actually yeah. have these dudes who are actually not that bad, who no. are kind of younger. I think everyone's overreacting. But their if, forward line sucks. Oh, they were very yeah. good for like yeah. parts of this season. They've yeah. had some pretty bad games here and there. But I think the fact that they're right there sort of still yeah, in still the mix. The you get, you go to tenth. Alice Springs. Yeah. They're 10th because of percentage and they got yeah, smashed up by Frio. Yeah. I think if you go back a couple of weeks, it wasn't quite so dire. It's like, can we no. just get a forward? That's all yeah. they kind of need. They're laughing. Again, if Van Royen comes back and like looks the goods as well, there is like a hilarious correlation of like when they when he plays. It doesn't matter how many goals he kicks. It's just like the structure Creates a bit of a forward line. Bit of a pack to away crash. they go. Like between he, Cozzy, and Fritch, they at least have like a little bit of a heartbeat up front. So they should, yeah, so, so instead of um, that's why I'm going down. I was just looking at I was just looking at the oh, draw. Really? They'll miss finals. Interesting. Yeah. Instead of a clean out rebuild, literally just trade for a forward. And I trade think that, for a that's that's the same sort of thing. That's a little mini rebuild in your fold line. Just go, hey, what will it take you, St Kilda, to give us Max King? And away we Three go. first round picks yeah. I'd ask. I'd be I'd be as forceful as I can. Let's go. Yeah. Both right. kings. <laughs> nah, the other kings are Another yeah, nah. Are the AFL over policing tackles, i.e., is whoa, Harley <laughs> Reed stiff to get two weeks, or should we protect our young savior, Harley <laughs> Reed, and just not suspend him for anything? Because he is the second coming of our Lord and Savior. Chris Judd. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Yeah, no. Hallelujah. Uh, <laughs> there's a yeah, no. There's a yeah, no. There's, there's, uh, uh, yeah. No. Over policing tackles, nah, come on. No, and he wasn't stiff to get two weeks. You can't German suplex a dude onto their yeah, head. Yeah, I, I think. I, Let's do it now. Stats boy. No. <laughs> Go on. Yeah. Try. I'll, I'll, oh. I'll lift you up. Um, no, I think they are over policing overall game in general, but that tackle specifically, 
definitely had Can't to be at least a week or two. He, he was he was too careless. He was better, yeah. Nah, should we give red cards? No, and, uh, no, no. Harley Reid sent off with a bad tackle. We're already worried about how many suspensions, uh, not suspensions, how many subs we have, and then you get a red <laughs> no, card and just that's, yeah. let's not let's but not red card. I would be yeah for a red card if we got rid of the sub. Sure. Because the sub annoys me. Just put yeah, it as but, an extra, but, but extra sub. Yeah. What constitutes a red card? Yeah, because it's too wishy That's not Probably a red card. Trauma. But I think <laughs> when like Peter Wright shouldered Harry Cunningham's face. Head yeah. trauma. Yeah. yeah. I think the very clear answer is head trauma. If you also fly kick a dude in the head, that's probably a red so card. Toby Green's in trouble. <laughs> you punch a dude, red card. Uh-huh. Head butter dude. Red card. So CJ would have got a red CJ. card to the headbutt. He should have too. Okay. Headbutton dudes. You can't be headbutton dudes. Ah, what are you doing? A bit of fun. Oh, we play football. <laughs> Is that where we head be- headbutt people? No. What I, are you doing? I've never seen any of the rules. No headbutts. Oh, uh, yeah. watch out. I might have to check that. Uh, <laughs> uh, AFL coach is overpaid for the lack of strategy they're implementing. Yeah, nah. Jeez. Adam's chucked that one in there. The he's, boss he's is if you're up, Alistair Clarkson, yeah. If you're John Wong Ma, nah. Well, I think if, when it comes to yeah. Clarkfold, we could have finished the sentence, our AFL coach is overpaid. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. It's and Ross Lyon. But I think Carlton are an interesting case in this. Everyone was firing Michael Voss halfway through the season last year, myself included. <laughs> uh, then our ginger saver came. And, but he's an interesting case where at halftime they tend to do make pretty decent adjustments. Yeah. But I think the biggest one, this is just a big question, like, hey, is Simon Goodwin any good win? Uh, because you talk about <laughs> lack of strategy that they're, and changes they're implementing. There was none. That demon yeah. game was an – like a horrifying embarrassment. It's like they we gave up at half time. Yeah, exactly. but that's, is that just one of those days where everything goes around? It's like, ah, right, watch. Yeah, but like even North haven't lost by 92 points. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> not, yet. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Not yet. I think I think it's very hard for the in, – in an AFL game, in a game of Aussie rules footy, I think it's hard to implement en masse strategy changes but from the coaching okay. box. But yeah. you can make specific changes. You move in the magnets here's, around. Here's two yeah. in the last two weeks. Ross Lyons sending Windhager to Harley Reid. It worked. John Lomire sending uh, James Jordan to Ed Richards. Michael Voss telling Patrick Cripps to go win the game. Yeah, I think Be- Bevo is saying to Bont, team on back. Okay. Bevo's telling another person that, uh, Give, that no, Bevo, it's, he's got the whiteboard. Give ball to Bont. <laughs> it's good. It's just an arrow towards yeah. Bont. I think strategy is hard to implement, but I think good coaches can do things. Good, that good coaches can. The outcome. Good coaches can swing around. And then there's the clock. Yeah. Yeah. Good coaches can oh, make tactical changes on the run and it not affect the flow of the team. Next one has home of ground advantage never been stronger. Yeah, nah. I don't know. This uh, is a tricky one. I'm saying nah. I think this is mostly to do with like, hey, West Coast are good at home, and so are the Crom. It's weird. Oh, I think I'm in saying, general, I'm, I'm saying, saying yeah. nah because I think I think Sydney and Gold Coast are the only Gold two Coast, teams yeah. undefeated at home this year. Mm-hmm. But you have a look. Port Adelaide being beaten at home. The Crows have been beaten at home. The Gabatois is just meek at the moment. GMHBA is uh, not as big anymore. Yeah, yeah, the Cats have been beaten at home. You don't count MCG and Marvel because, you know, they all share it. And uh, what is it? Freo have been beaten at home this year too. Well, the Pies, two teams. Pies lost at home last week as well. I'd still yeah. say that the, the Pies, most... That was a joke, Stats Boy. Come on, sell it. Oh, Jeez, I was trying to listen to home. home. I was trying to listen to... It was at Marvel. Talking. They were playing a home game at Marvel. Remember how angry everybody was about yeah. that? And they also got pumped at the MCG twice, so... Yep. Can Brisbane make the finals? No. Yeah, nah. uh, Alex and I went through this. No. No. We, we did a. Uh, we went through every game. We think they're going to win around 11, 10 no, or 11. We think they're going to win another four or five games for the rest of the year, so they could even come under 10 wins. Oof. Yeah. Well, it, we, there was a couple of home ones they should probably well, win. Yeah, well, like, uh, we gave them, we had four definite wins, which gets them to yeah. eight and a half, which still means they need to probably win another four you games. You usually need about 12, right? We said 13 or this 30. year. Yeah. It's okay. They get Eric Hipwood back this week. <laughs> the Eel. Eric the Eel. <laughs> the big hippie, I love this. A free or a top four chance? Second best defense, number one in clearances. Yeah, no, nah, I think, is this a Barb's Barb? It Barb's is a Barb's Barb. Barb. I think he is bang on. I'm going to say, yeah. I can't believe I'm saying that. The but games that they've lost have been like weirdly close yeah. and gross. They're they, pretty good. They just choke out, they get the clamps. That's what Ross Lyon They had to, lost a show. They lost a derby, though, to West Coast. So. But that was, a, that was just one that of those ones. Yeah. Bit, yeah. They'd come back. I think they're on a short turnaround as well compared to West Coast. And then obviously they had that, that Swans game where they just were not mentally in the game. Like, yep. for example, who would you rather be, GWS or Port? Sorry, GWS, Port, Geelong, or Freo? GWS. I'd, I'd be taking uh, Freo. I might. I'm yeah, taking the Freo. Giants. Yeah. Nice one. What else we got? I think that's it for the ENRs. Good job. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Should we do a Best Blokes 22? The all Australian Best Blokes you want to <laughs> hang out with this year so far. You made a team, Jim. I've made a team. Oh. Basically, I look at this as though it's a Bucks trip. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want you don't want Where's too the Bucks trip? you don't want too many loose units. So, honorable Gold mentions Coast. go to Jack Ginnivan, <laughs> Toby Green, Dusty Martin, Bailey Fritch, and Joel Smith. 
You can't take any of them. No on love your for You're not taking any of them <laughs> no, anywhere. No I love mean, Joss Smith's not allowed on a plane at the moment, so <laughs> I'm not taking any Saints. I'm not taking any of the powers of the Saints. You look at Higgins. You look at mem- member Tim Memberberry. Uh, <laughs> I'm not taking any signs. Simple as that. I'm like, you guys suck. You're all boring. I hate watching your team. Simple as that. <laughs> what if Rowan Marshall so would fun. smash beers? <laughs> <laughs> sure. But at the same time, Gornicus would do so yeah. more so. Yeah. And Justin so McInerney would, other, would be a loose unit. My other backup beer. I'm trying so. to get my head around this. Have you picked it like position wise? Position wise. Oh, yeah. this is amazing. Yeah. Position wise, so the best blokes. It's a combination. Who do you want to take on a bark strip? But also, who do you just want to hang out and smash a few tins with? <laughs> Forwards. My beloved Jed Walter. <laughs> Charlie Curnow, because he's awesome. And also, if you hang out with Charlie Curnow at a bar, it's gonna be what, a, what is it, a remora fish that hangs out with sharks? Yeah. yeah. If you're chasing, like, I don't know, tail. Uh, <laughs> everybody's there with Curnow. You're getting the runoff. Like, hey, 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 so you're getting the cast-offs. Exactly. Yep. Charlie Cameron, because he's a legendary dude. He, can sing he literally road. got the good bloke award. <laughs> he did. <laughs> he didn't get suspended because he's that much of a good bloke. <laughs> Half forward. We're sticking with Isaac Heaney. He actually made my all-Australian team in the exact same spot. Has he gotten in there? I don't know. Because he's a good bloke. He, he also has an alcohol wait, wait, wait. brand. He can give you tins. Free oh. tins. Oh. Also, I'm not his teammate, so I don't have to worry about anything else out there. <laughs> J Train. That's right, Jakey Water, because yes. he's a weapon. Talk about he, Do you know how many teams would be punching in the bay? Like, gee, settle down there, J. you got a game Never. tomorrow, mate. Yeah. Never. <laughs> Jeremy Cameron, clearly yeah. a good yeah. bloke. Yes. Good hang. Just sit, sit there he and could go. talk for hours and you wouldn't it, even be talking about anything. It'd, it'd just be stories. It'd be so fun. It'd be just stories. At his farm. Talk about his cows. Off we go. Yep. In the Senate, these are actually just two good blokes that you're just like, that dude is just a good bloke. Christian Petrarca, yeah. Marcus Bontepelli. Yeah. Track for the food of the Track trip. for the food, exactly. <laughs> so, He's like, I'm going to put him in charge of like ordering the food at the restaurants that we're going to. And if we have a home cooked meal, he can cook the brekkie. Exactly. Off we go. I've heard of legend. a Melbourne Demons house party where everyone just loose units carrying on like absolute morons. And Christian Petrarca, the responsible man, has five or six beers and then nopes out at the right point. Our captain, yeah. who is also in the centre, liver. Yes, liver, 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 Poor liver. Boy. <laughs> because you need a loose unit. He's in charge, but he's enough. Well, how is he in charge? He's then? enough of a loose unit that you're like, this is pretty fun. This is pretty good. I might die. But cool. our vice captain is even more of a loose unit. We'll get to him in a second. Halfback flanker, Zach Tui. Yeah. Yes. Irish. Great hang. Great hang. Bring some Guinness. Either McGovern. Take your pick. Yeah. Either McGovern. Mitch or Jeremy. I'll Jeremy, take Jeremy. 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 Both good dudes. Get our hands. Yeah. Our vice captain, Nick Blakey. Oh, I don't know. The lizard. <laughs> the lizard. I love this. The lizard. Just like, Scary what's he doing? Everywhere. He's on being a lizard. <laughs> Our backman, Alex Pierce. Great hair. Yeah. Great dude. He love seems Alex like Pierce. a nice guy, yeah. Nick Floston. Yep. Just a, a, under a the radar, one. good dude. Sneaky because selection of a redhead. I, think. I also love the idea because you look at some of the uh, the backmen, you're like, boring, boring, boring. <laughs> Lizard Liam Jones. Boring. <laughs> you're not Liam Jones. <laughs> I'm not taking Liam Jones. Uh, and the other one is Tom Stewart. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's a good bloke. Good. Chill, very chill. He's like, you know what? I know all the best surfing spots. <laughs> Gotchas. Followers, Gornicus. Yeah. Maximus uh, Aurelius yeah. Gornicus. Wine One of the own. very single best dudes in the history of the sport. We're yep. taking him. Nice Owns a wine bar. Pendles, did you know he used to play basketball? No. no. So you, you, you talk to I, him Pendles about and I just talking basketball. Like, Remember when you used to hang out with Patty Mills? He's <laughs> he, like, he was friends with Patty yes, Mills. Yes, Jim, I do. I'm like, was he really cool? He's like, why is Jim talking to me about Patty Mills for hours? I'm like, shut up, Pendles. Anyway. Harley Reid. <laughs> oh, how's he stuck in there? <laughs> this was between Harley Reid and Patrick Cripps. Is this, during- just, is this just the young buck you let loose on the trip? You need some weird 18, 19 year old just to set a pace. So you need the stats guy. You need to set a pace. And then I'm a lot older than him. They bounce up the next morning ready to go, get you up and Gene. You're like, I am way too old for this, Harley. And he's like, come on, Jim. Yeah. Like, nah, bro, just go hang See out with Jack Train. Go the hang out with the Jack Train. <laughs> because this was going to be Patrick Cripps. Patrick Cripps, all time good bloke. Also has a brand new baby. I'm not taking you, Patty. You're, <laughs> you're like a two-pot screamer at this point. You'd be like, I haven't had a beer in months. It'll be, it'll be I dead. did this after the... So this is the no, why no Toby thought Green this man as well. After this the second man. squid, I had a mate's 40th. And like the squid to be the second squid, you know, you've just had no sleep for days. I'm looking after the elder squid as well. I roll into this 40th for basically an hour of power. I got in there. Four tins went, poos, got home and passed out. It was sweet. I'm like, just, I was in there and just went, good day, boys. How are we doing? Sugars. Like, have four you pints f- later, and I'm just like, Smoke I'm on. just like in the in the Uber on the way home going, I don't know what's going on. Have you figured <laughs> out how to do parties as you've got older? Oh, yes, it's great. Interchange, Rory Laird. Everybody loves Rory Laird. Yep. Seems like a great dude. I'm bored with I'll that. Give you that. The mustache himself. Joey Duckett's can cut a rug. We know this. <laughs> Joey I've seen Danaher. him do it at the curtain. Uh, I love Joey. He's a good man. Yeah. I don't think he's a good hang. I think 
You can have all the qualms you want about him as a footballer. Essendon fans might not be so enamoured with him. And I would count myself as an Essendon fan. Uh, <laughs> but Joey Duckett's love Joey Danner. think he's a good hang. Brian Myers, just because you need someone <laughs> small just to go, go fetch that, would you, guys? Is he, is he a, and then, He's an assist king. He's, he's assist the assist king. king. This is my, I can't believe he stepped on my joke. <laughs> I didn't know that. I thought, he, I thought you were. So is this him running off Charlie Kerno? <laughs> he's just running off Charlie Kerno, just getting beers. He's he like, goes in a beer, he goes, Great, yeah, great. Eight beers from the Esky. He's like, I got you, boys. So that you know. is so and good. And he just deftly lobs them over and Brian everyone. Myers, you also get to give him a ton of crap about Lionel Messi. Away we go. Uh, <laughs> next one, the backup big. Big Oscar McInerney. You need oh. a big Gumby. <laughs> you need one big Gumby go, hey, big O. And he's like, yes. <laughs> I love the big O. And How is Oscar Allen not in this team? Oscar oh. Allen. Because he's injured. He's in, yeah, yeah. He's an he's he's honorable mention. He would have been up for the captain. But, uh, okay. <laughs> Mac Andrews, our sub. I feel like oh, Mac Andrews is a sneaky good hang. Sub? What? Does he he's just in the hotel room. He's just sitting there. He's like, do you need me? He's like... <laughs> Yeah, so, Harley Reid's passed out. <laughs> come on, in you come. In you come. So we're not taking any Saints. We're not taking any power. North, come on. Get him no. Georgie Ward. Lowry, so then. no one from North. This is the extended bench if we want to go for a bit of North. Well, I'm taking the Suba. Oh, yeah. Suba. Yeah, he, he loves Good hang. He loves so he's hard. an emergency. He would be playing the tunes. He plays guitar. He could Sam play Draper. Tunes. Oh, I don't, like, I don't like. I don't like. Free tradey beers yeah. for life. So, yeah. so we've got doozy drinks, tradey beers, and whatever wine Gornicus has. Yeah. And then we've got... You know what a fun, just like other ginger hang for your extended bench? Cotters. Love you, Matthew. <laughs> he's just be excited. But he's also the dude that could get in the fight. Exactly. You need, you need just a floater. A floater. <laughs> they've, does, got, they've got Gorn and like Valsky. But Macarena. that's exactly it. There's a couple in there that factor. you don't, like, you, that's why the honorable mentors will definitely get you in a fight. And that's why I've got no saints because they will, like, Higgins will start 87 <laughs> fights. And Did you notice that we don't have Stephen May on this team? No, no he's not allowed. But the point being, the last one is like, because he's just generally seen as the greatest dude in the history of the AFL yeah. outside of Max Gorn is Sam Doherty. Everyone loves yeah, Sam Doherty. Yeah. He's got to get over his knee, but he's like on crutches. <laughs> he's on the extended bench. We might have to leave your home, Doc. I'm real sorry. <laughs> you can zoom in. Who's the zoom coach? Oh, the coach. oh, yeah. yeah. Ooh, so I didn't think about the coach. Uh, let's uh, go quickly. Not Ross Lyon. He's a good coach. <clears> right why there. is it at Adam Kingsley? Adam Kingsley. And he's yeah. It's probably Adam Kingsley, but I'm, I'm too afraid of Adam Kingsley, so I'm not going to take it. <laughs> yeah. You know, Chris Fagan would probably be a good one because yeah. he's like, you know what, boys? He'd be in bed We're by- getting on the tins. <laughs> and you're like, I love you, Chris Fagan. He'd be in bed by like not a bad one. Not taking Adam Uze, not taking Simon no. Goodwin. Too nah. much of a Joel Smith connection there. Yeah. Uh, Matty Nix, not so – Ken Hinckley, you know. Nah, nah. He's weird. It's Justin Longmuir was – Justin Longmuir would have, you know, three light beers and go home. Yeah. I reckon fly <laughs> – flee, fly. Oh, yeah. fly would be good. Fly would be too – but the problem was, it, Craig McRae would spend most of his time trying to like, I don't know – uh, get inside all of your head on this bachelor. It's like, what are we all really here for, boys? You're like, for beers, Craig, <laughs> shut up. Just horse to be Longmire. good dudes. But oh, he's, John Longmire. But he's a really good dude. Probably John Longmire. Love a bit of horse. Off yeah. he goes. That's not drug slang. But yeah. anyway. Uh, <laughs> but Craig McCra- in terms of like good blokes, very clearly Craig McRae is one right there. Bevo, that'd be pretty funny because you know that he's on the team. He's like, come here, you. Come here, Jim. And I'm like, Bevo, leave me alone. He's like, never. <laughs> and away we go. So, but it's probably between Longmire, it's probably between him and McRae. Yeah. Probably not Sam. That Mitchell. is the best. That thing. is the longest segment we've done, and it's probably our best. That is the there best segment. That is You've done the very well. best blokes. All 22 for the season. So <laughs> Look out far. for the handsome 23 coming up on social media. Yes. I've got that team locked and loaded. My favourite thing is I've actually got no notes written down on that apart from their names. So. <laughs> <laughs> You've done well. All right. Thursday night footy. That's right. The Thursday night football preview. Ugh. One of the year nars was going to be, will Jim cry? Because this is the single last AFL regular season Thursday night football game we have. Yes. And the answer is, yeah. I think we I all probably will, will cry. This is sad. Because remember, the AFL knows best, and we don't need Thursday night It footy. doesn't get it cold. It doesn't get cold on Thursday night. People <laughs> yeah, don't want to go on Thursday nights because it's cold. And it doesn't rain it doesn't, on weekends. That's it doesn't rain the, on weekends. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. exactly right. No, it doesn't, doesn't. Adelaide, take on Richmond. They yeah. are, are you serious, 32 and a half point favourites against the Tykes? That's gross. Because it's uh, Adelaide Oval, but it's 14th That's versus gross. 17th. I think the odds of... Uh, this is wild. This good. So Thursday night, 7.30 p.m., the over-under is 168.5, which feels about right because the Tigers have stuck in a couple of these last few games. Adelaide, they tend to play weirdly free-flowing games at home, obviously. Yeah. But this is it. The Tigers have got no one left. No. The thing is, Adelaide, there's some big question marks about them as well, right? Because Jordan Dawson is a fitness test before the game, basically, but it looks like he'll play. 
They do have a question mark around Tex. I don't yep. know if he's been named yet. He or not. was running this afternoon right. at training, so that's a but good he's start. Still, he got, still got subbed out with been a good back anyway. issue yeah. last yeah. week. It's I like, think that's never good for your 37 million year old forwards. Especially like, they play in Richmond. It'd be dumb for them to play him, I think. Well, I was about to say, Richmond have no forward, literally have no forward line. Nah. Now. Who's, who's going to play in their forward out? line? It's going to be horrible. Nick Lawson. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they'll send Bolter forward, right? Yeah. Like, that's kind of it. But then he's been really good back as well. It's a, it's no like, Lafau oh. because he loses, he tore his ACL. Yeah. They lose Marley and Pickett to a calf injury as well. And Dusty's Dusty Dusty comes out. Dusty's, yeah, I, that's they, why the line's so big. Will Matthew Nix get fired if they lose this game? Nah. No, so, but oh my God, there might be some people out front of If they do, it'd be funny. pitchforks and fire. They might get Prestia back. Mm. Okay. Yeah. The meatball. Yeah. Taranto might come back. That's okay. a big in. I don't know if Shy Bolton's coming back though, right? Mm. So- because he had the concussion, I want to say. So there's a couple of sort of weird ones. You got Jacob Blight as the uh, mid-season draft. Oh, yeah. So he yeah. could come in. He was, was that the dude who played across halfback? Yeah, he got eight marks. Yeah. 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 So it'd be interesting to see what happens with that team for the Tigers. Uh, Adelaide, Billy Dowling probably coming in for Matt Crouch. Uh, Dan the one Curtin, the Phantom loves, actually. Possible eye coming back as well. Mm-hmm. Um, Sam Berry, I think, had the sub, yeah. I want to say, last week. Yes, yeah, he was. Yes. So... <clears throat> Adelaide also are dealing with like their own questions. Well, Dawson's foot's cooked. So to the point where I'm like wanting to galaxy brand myself, I reckon Richmond cover the line. I think they do. I too. think they I cover think they it, but oh, they've got the foul is a big out. I, I think uh, we've obviously talked him up on this show. He is a he's a good forward. They've got no forwards. Adelaide at least have some guys in form in their forward line. They, they it's they're going to win. A lot of uh, Saligo. This no. This, Fog. Fog's Fog being good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Fog. no, I'm saying in the middle. So oh. Crouch goes out. Laird, yeah, that's fine. Laird has been a bit Laird, up and down, yeah. Saligo, Laird, Dawson, let's go. Yeah. Shoal on the outside. Love me Chuck Rochelle, you need a couple of centre bounces. Yeah, Get some not? speed in there. Yeah, probably will. Just put it straight down Fog's throat. He'll kick eight. Off we go. I've convinced <laughs> myself Adelaide are going to win this easily. Yeah, I think seconds. they will. The, Big Fog game. Yeah. I think they don't cover that, but I think they win it. Yep. So I'm going to be saying like 24, four, yep. four goals. Give us some stats, stats boy. Uh, well, yeah, okay. Uh, Adelaide has won the last five matches against bottom four teams by 40 plus points. So go. that might relate to the line why it's pretty high at that 32 and a half. Uh, and then six of the last seven Adelaide matches at the Adelaide Oval have gone under the total points. So that's what, uh, what's that, 168 and a half this total? We uh, saw that overall. gross Adelaide Melbourne game at yeah. round. Yep. And this is 11th versus 18th on offense. So I'm not expecting, and I think Adelaide are fifth on defense. So they can clamp down Richmond, especially when they have no forwards. This is going under, I think, uh, for the over under. Cool. Crows and under, done. Yep. Nice one. Yep. Well, the Crows did absolutely belt West Coast, what, two weeks ago, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. To it the could be 99 s- points at home. That's also why the line's probably pretty big because West Coast were going all right then. <laughs> they tied with Brisbane at home. Mm hmm. Four weeks ago. Lost to Melbourne. Uh, they beat Port in a showdown. That was just an outlier game. <laughs> Called it. Yeah. And I don't know. There's been a couple of weird games, obviously, all year. But the loss to Essendon. Yeah. It's a strange one. Best I'm still going to go the Crom. I don't know if it's going to be convincing. I think Richmond put up a pretty handy fight. Because mm-hmm. I think the amount of injuries they've had, it sucks. They're fighting well. The last two weeks, they've but shown they get a, a couple bit, of those yeah. dudes back as well, it gives them a nice little bolster. Yeah. Right. We're all going crumb. Yep. Yeah, crows by 30. Yeah. But don't cover that line. Yeah. Alex is just saying it's yuck. It's <laughs> yuck. <laughs> all right. Let's do some super coach tips, vibes, thoughts at this point. Halfway through the season, going into round 13. Of course, it is a buy round. There are two teams missing this yeah. Port week. Port and Port and Frio. Yeah, yes. Correct. Uh so it makes your top 18 a little bit easier. Mm-hmm. It also means that you have free reign to bring in anyone from the four teams that had a buy last week, which is Stephen. GWS, Sydney, North, North Sydney. Melbourne, and the Swans. So, interesting gear. I think you got the cheap dudes. Obviously, Will Dawson. I'm not wildly convinced about his scoring potential. Will Dawson. He'll get you 50, 60 as like his max, but he's going to be in the team right because he he was actually really solid in his first couple of games. So yeah. Um, outside of that, Lockie McNeil for the Dogs yeah. as well. I think his price has already gone up. He's like one fifty nine or something now. So he yeah, same as uh, Bulldogs have a f- fair few injuries, so he'll stay in the team as well. For a little bit. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Was a sub? Someone's uh, going to yes, get bevered. But I think he, because of yeah, their injuries, he's supposed to be in the team this week. That's why people pick him up. But definitely Will Dawson, I think, is a good option. Uh, outside <laughs> of that, you've sort of got a lot of folks trying to figure out like that upgrade target, right? And Zach Fisher is obviously one of the big ones. I'm not convinced. Yeah, you're the Ruse fan here, stats boy. Talk yeah. us through the Zach Fisher situation. So he's, until McKercher comes back, he's going to be scoring hundreds yeah. because he's taking kick, a lot more kickouts. Every time we switch, it goes to him. Whereas McKercher and him sort of play the same role of the guy that's uh, left footer that can kick out from defense. When McKercher comes back in probably in a couple of weeks, 
then I think Fisher's scoring is going to go back down under 100. But uh, I'm having a look. You can probably be in the top six forwards if, even if you are averaging less than 100. So that that's the uh, d- the thing you got to debate. But I'd say I'm staying away from him just because when McCurch comes back, I think his scoring is going to be a lot more inconsistent. I have sacked Clayton Oliver for Chad Warner. Well, yeah, that's yep. not, I think that's fair because yep. I've just yeah, <laughs> Clary's I've been done my dash on Clary. Yeah, fair. Uh, I brought in Ridley. <clears throat> uh, my biggest query about that is that I've got Nick Martin as well. But this Ooh. could also be the problem is the power forwards could go psycho for Carlton. Yeah, Ridley really still get a lot of the ball though. They kick mm-hmm. out a lot because we uh, Carlton love Not- nothing more of the G against Essendon than bombing it. Bombing it going. in, <laughs> yeah. Jeez, I hope you guys mark. This. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, smash cut to me on Sunday night, just going, God damn it, <laughs> not again. <laughs> But at the same time, because I'm one of the biggest Essendon fans on this, you know, big blue marble we call the planet Earth. Like, Are you breaking for a draw in this one? I'm 100% going for Essendon because this way I, oh. I can't lose. Uh, <laughs> no, they're the best team in the AFL, Stats Boy. Oh, yeah. If Carlton get up over them, that's awesome. But you've just beaten the best team in the AFL, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, got a point. Uh, for the VC and captaincy vibes for Supercoach this week, what are you looking at, Stats Man? Uh, I've, I have forgot to have a look at this. I'm staying away from Dawson. I know that because yep. he's been so inconsistent. A lot of people have been Bont trying to Bont is the obvious one if you've got him Dacos, Friday night. Nick Dacos the last month and a half has just been unbelievable. I'm so. probably going to roll Heaney on Sunday night mm-hmm. against the Cats yep. into Dacos on Monday. I don't mind Holmes as a bit of a rogue one as well uh, against the Sw- uh, yeah, Swans, is it? Just because he's been 130 last two weeks. He's the only player that can get above like 25 touches consistently. I for the cats. Two words for you. Yeah. James Jordan. Is he going to tag him, you reckon? Max Holmes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I'm vice captaining Bont into Warner captain. Nice. Yep. Don't mind that. Bit of a POD. Yeah. Uh, we had the question as well. We got brought up this week. Who did we overrate and underrate going into this season in terms oh. of super coach here, Stats Boy? Underrate. Underrate first. Heaney was obviously the big one because, yep. well, I would probably just play forward. They've got lots of people. And then they didn't have Luke Parker or Taylor Adams to start the season. Callum Mills. And Callum Mills, right? So he's just like in the guts the mm-hmm. entire time. It's been awesome. And he might win a Brownlow because of it. Yep. Uh, who didn't underrate him, though? Your mate Jim, who yeah, got him yeah. in draft. Love oh, that. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nailed that. But it was like pick, like it was like the fourth round, or fifth or sixth round. Maybe. Maybe. I was probably. having a look. Like you, I picked Warner in like the fourth round, and then you picked Heaney straight after. There so go. there's two dudes who have gone awesome that have slipped through. Yeah, they slipped through. Lockie Neal was pretty underrated as well, I think, yeah. going into this year. He still people, is. I've had a People look, yeah. basically, I think his ownership in Supercoach is still very low, which is weird. Average of 117. Yeah, yeah they're crushing it. It's like, Jeremy McGovern. Jeremy McGovern's a big one. Having a look at draft, no one picked him up, and it was me, till the third round of the season. Wow. That's because he's just gotten injured. He used yeah, to get injured a lot, though. but he's all right now. I, I chucked in uh, Zorko. Everyone, no one thought he's going to be up there with the best forwards, and he's been playing off halfback. Uh, I, I chucked in Cherry as a rogue one as well. He's been the, I think, his fourth best ruckman, averaging one point less than Grundy, and he's <laughs> been, I think it's 109 points he's averaging, so he's been awesome for North. I, I think, think Zeret also went a little bit Zeret, off the boil last year, yeah. and I think everyone got burned a little bit, right? And so like, eh, yeah. it wasn't quite as good. And then this year he's been awesome. He's like, I'm going to kick goals. Who was overrated? Oh. Tinglish until the last couple of weeks. He's still been all right. What's his average? Still been very handy mm. the last few weeks. Yeah. Tom Stewart, very overrated. Yeah. That's because, I don't know, they've, he's been basically tagged Clamped. out of some games. Space right? jammed. Yeah. Took his powers. Grind Myers a little bit overrated when it comes to Supercoach as well. His uh, price was over 400. And you're like, that seems weird because he's not putting up yeah. massive Supercoach scores. Yeah. Clay Nova. Uh, Clary. Yeah. I think he's under, overrated. The start of the season, no, but... I People think it was, what, like, eh. six weeks in, everyone's like, oh, my God, he's so cheap, and then everyone jumped on. Yeah. I got a, I got an over, uh, overrated to underrated. Nick Martin for the first month, everyone <laughs> yeah. dropped off, then he went bang, and everyone's like, oh, we got him back, and now he's just gone downhill well, again. There's a, cor- there's a direct correlation there. Tim Mitchell. You had him in and out. My ownership. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so had Nick Martin. Was going went, <laughs> Peace out. Got awesome. Went, oh, I better bring back in Nick Martin. He went, okay, I'm going to suck again. I'm like, come on, man, he, break he, him up. He looked on Supercoach like, Jim's And then, of course, two other ones that break my heart. Overrated, maybe Tom Green. Uh, it's tough. It, all the injuries for his that, price, yes. All the injuries they're dealing with. Yep. Has, I'm like, still I get back Tom Green and see Rosie. But that's <laughs> yeah. just oh. he's been injured. Yeah, he doesn't have hamstrings. <laughs> right, but that'll do it for this Wednesday edition of the AFL Today Show for the Midweek Madness Show. That was fun. Yeah. Uh, thank you to the Ding Guy for jumping on, Alex. Cheers, Jim. And thank you to Stats Boy. Thank you. Uh, remember to smash a like across all the socials. See us doing lots of fun stuff. We'll probably run through that. Uh, Best Blokes 22. We'll have the Handsome 22 as well from Alex. Ready to go. And we're going to do Stats Boy Short Kings at some point as well. I'm actually happy to do that. That'll be fun. Yeah. <laughs> I love the Short Kings. Love it. Love who, it. Who, who's going to be in there? That's up to you, Stats Boy. bring Brett Harvey back? He was sure. my, no. my favourite ever. Just do an all-time. He can be coach. You can actually just do an all-time 22 Short right, Kings. Stephen Milne. Jake. 
The Push Up King. Push Up King, Love yes. He's uh, in the rock for sure. <laughs> Sorry, that's enough. Uh, check us out. <laughs> smash a like and subscribe and star. All of the stuff on YouTube, Facey, IG, TikTok, X. Subscribe on your podcast apps. Like, review, and star them all. Get around all the shows, of course. Cricket Today podcast, Football Today podcast. Big stuff going on there. You've got the T20 World Cup with Cricket Today. You've got the Euros coming up with Football Today. NBA Australia. you got the NBA Finals. It's all bloody going on. It's a big June. It's also my birthday, so Is you bet, oh, better not forget. Not today. Not today. No, thank God. Thank you. Just as well. I did forget. That would have been all. Imagine we're doing a show. And that's we go. A smashing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, get around all of those shows like Alan Jakovic getting around a few tins on my best bloke. He might be my best bloke's like all time. Just all timer. Love that. Anyway, that's it. We'll catch you tomorrow for the teams show, the Thursday team show for a massive, massive King's birthday long weekend where we have footy. Again, it's the donut machine, but it's footy Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday, Sunday night, Monday. Let's no go. No overlap. No overlap. Yeah, yes. how good is that? That's why Monday footy works. Anyway, that's it. We'll catch you tomorrow for more AFL today. Until then, look after yourselves and remember, footy's back. If you like this show, make sure you check out all the other shows in the Sports Today Network, from the AFL Today Show to the Cricket Today Podcast, the Football Today Podcast, as well as NBA Australia and NFL Australia. With Sports Today, your sporting needs have never been easier to cover.